Scenario. Damian Manrique is a cold, threatening, and ferocious alpha. He does not aspire to get a mate, but rather to be a lone wolf and let some of his brother's wolves take power over his territory when he dies. What happens when a charming and sweet mate gets in her way, who is a faithful believer in love, and when she meets him she is convinced that he is the love of her life, the protagonist of all the love stories she has read over and over again. Time. But he doesn't believe in any of that. Ava Salvatore is the youngest of her siblings and the darling of the family, with a unique intelligence, being a biochemist at 17 years old and now at 18 years old, she is the best biochemist in the world. She has a quiet life full of love of her family, but she is determined to meet the man of her life. What happens when Ava meets that man, but realizes that he does not want to have a relationship, nor have the slightest contact with her, simply because he assumes she is inferior and is a child in his eyes, because they are 10 years apart. I was 18 when I met the man I was going to spend the rest of my life with. He was tall, dark, and handsome, and he had the most beautiful eyes I'd ever seen. I knew from the moment I saw him that he was my soulmate. He was sitting at the bar, nursing a drink, and looking like he wanted to be anywhere but there. I didn't care what he looked like or how he acted. I took a deep breath and pushed open the door to the dimly lit bar. The scent of stale beer and cigarette smoke hit me like a wave, but I pressed on. My heart pounded with anticipation as I scanned the room. There he was, sitting alone at the bar, his broad shoulders hunched over a glass of whiskey. Damien. The cold alpha, who had no idea of what he was doing in his life. I squared my shoulders and walked towards him, my heels clicking against the worn wooden floor. Hi. I said, forcing a warm smile onto my face as I slid onto the stool next to him. He barely glanced at me, his eyes filled with indifference. What do you want? He asked, his voice as cold as ice. I'm Ava. I introduced myself, my voice trembling slightly, but filled with conviction. Ava Salvatore. He took a sip of his drink and set it down with a thud. I don't care who you are, he said curtly. Leave. His words stung, but I refused to back down. We're destined for each other. I insisted, leaning closer. You're my mate. Damian's expression hardened, and he turned to face me fully for the first time. His eyes were like steel, piercing through me with an intensity that made me shiver. I have no interest in mates or love, he said sharply. Stay away from me. I felt a lump form in my throat, but I swallowed it down. No, I said firmly. I won't stay away. You need me, even if you don't realize it yet. He stood up abruptly, towering over me with an imposing presence that made my heart race. Get out, he growled, before I make you. I stood my ground, meeting his gaze with unwavering determination. I'm not afraid of you, I said softly, and I'm not going anywhere. For a moment, we stood there in silence, locked in a battle of wills. Then, without warning, Damian turned and stormed out of the bar, leaving me standing there alone. I watched him go, feeling both hurt and resolute. The place was dimly lit, with only a few flickering fluorescent lights casting long shadows across the concrete floor. Stacks of wooden crates lined the walls, and the air smelled of dust and oil. His brothers were already there, gathered around a makeshift table covered with maps and documents. Miguel, the eldest, looked up first, his eyes narrowing as he saw Damian approach. You're late, Miguel said, his voice low and authoritative. Damian shrugged, not bothering to offer an excuse. He pulled out a chair and sat down heavily, his mind still replaying the encounter with Ava at the bar. He couldn't shake her words from his head. We need to discuss our next move, Javier, the youngest brother, said, breaking the silence. He pointed to a map spread out on the table. The shipment is coming in tomorrow night. We need to be ready. Damian tried to focus on the conversation, but his thoughts kept drifting back to Ava. Her determination, her unwavering gaze, it all gnawed at him. He clenched his fists under the table, trying to push her out of his mind. Are you even listening? Miguel snapped, glaring at him. You've been distracted ever since you walked in here. Damian's jaw tightened. I'm fine, he said tersely. Let's just get this over with. 
Javier exchanged a worried glance with Miguel before turning back to Damian. What's going on with you? You've never been this unfocused before. Damian's temper flared. I said I'm fine, he shouted, slamming his fist on the table. The sound echoed through the warehouse, making everyone jump. Miguel leaned forward, his eyes boring into Damian's. This isn't like you, he said quietly. What's really going on? Damian took a deep breath, trying to calm himself. It's nothing, he muttered. Just someone I met. Javier raised an eyebrow. Someone? Who? Damian hesitated for a moment before finally speaking. Ava Salvatore, he said through gritted teeth. She claims we're destined for each other, mates. A heavy silence fell over the room. Miguel and Javier exchanged worried glances. They knew what mate bonds meant in their world. You rejected her? Miguel asked cautiously. Of course I did, Damian snapped. I won't be controlled by fate or anyone else. Javier shook his head slowly. You know what happens when you reject a mate bond. It's not something you can just brush off. I don't care, Damian growled. I make my own choices. I won't let some predetermined bond dictate my life. Miguel sighed deeply. This could complicate things, he said. We can't afford any distractions right now. Damian stood up abruptly, knocking his chair over in the process. I'm not distracted, he insisted. We have a job to do, and I'll get it done. The tension in the room was palpable as they continued discussing their plans. Damian's frustration simmered beneath the surface, evident in his clenched fists and terse responses. His brothers tried to focus on the task at hand, but they couldn't ignore the storm brewing within him. As they wrapped up the meeting, Miguel placed a hand on Damian's shoulder. Just be careful, he said softly. This isn't something you can fight alone. Damian shrugged off his brother's hand and turned away. I don't need your concern, he muttered. Without another word, he walked out of the warehouse into the cold night air. His mind was a whirlwind of emotions, anger, confusion, and an unshakable image of Ava's determined face. He needed to clear his head before tomorrow night's mission. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't escape the feeling that his life had just taken a turn he wasn't prepared for. The sound of footsteps behind him made him stop in his tracks. Damien. Javier called out. He turned around just in time to see Javier running towards him with urgency written all over his face. What now? Damian asked impatiently. Before Javier could answer, a loud crash echoed from inside the warehouse followed by shouts of alarm. The dim lighting made it hard to see, but their eyes quickly adjusted. They scanned the area, looking for the source of the commotion. There, Javier pointed toward a broken window at the far end of the warehouse. A shadowy figure moved swiftly, trying to stay hidden among the stacks of crates. Damian raised his hand, signaling Javier to flank left. He moved forward cautiously, his eyes never leaving the intruder. The figure noticed Damian's approach and lunged at him with a knife. Damian sidestepped just in time, grabbing the assailant's wrist and twisting it sharply. The knife clattered to the ground as Damian delivered a swift kick to the intruder's midsection. The attacker doubled over in pain, giving Damian the opportunity to disarm him completely. Javier rushed in from the side, tackling the intruder to the ground and securing his hands behind his back with zip ties. Got him, Javier said, breathing heavily. Damian knelt down, his face inches from the intruders. Who sent you, he demanded, his voice cold and menacing. The intruder squirmed, but said nothing. Damian grabbed a handful of the man's hair and yanked his head back. I won't ask again. Who sent you? The man winced in pain but finally spoke. It was, it was Carlos. From the rival gang. Damian's eyes narrowed. Why? To sabotage your plans, the man gasped. That's all I know, I swear. Damian released his grip and stood up. Javier, lock him up. We'll question him further later. Javier nodded and dragged the intruder towards a small room at the back of the warehouse. Damian watched them go, his mind racing with thoughts of betrayal and danger. As they secured the area, Damian couldn't help but think about Ava again. Her determination had unsettled him more than he cared to admit. He shook his head, trying to focus on the task at hand. Everything secure? Miguel asked as he approached. Yeah. Damian replied tersely. 
but we need to be on high alert. Carlos is making moves. Miguel nodded grimly. We'll be ready. Damian's gaze drifted back to where Javier was locking up their captive. His thoughts were a chaotic mix of Ava's unwavering resolve and the immediate threat posed by their rivals. He clenched his fists, feeling a storm brewing inside him that he couldn't quite control. Suddenly, another crash echoed through the warehouse, followed by more shouts. Their footsteps echoed against the concrete floor as they navigated through the maze of crates and machinery. The air was thick with tension, and the flickering lights cast eerie shadows on the walls. As they rounded a corner, they saw a group of men armed with bats and crowbars breaking into the warehouse. Defend our territory, Damian shouted, his voice cutting through the chaos. Miguel and Javier didn't hesitate. They charged forward, ready to fight. The intruders turned to face them, their expressions filled with aggression. One of them swung a bat at Miguel, who ducked just in time and countered with a punch to the man's gut. Javier grappled with another assailant, using his weight to pin him against a stack of crates. I watched from a distance, my heart pounding as the scene unfolded. The warehouse had become a battleground, filled with the sounds of grunts, shouts, and the clanging of metal. Damian, one of the intruders, yelled, his voice carrying over the noise. Come out and surrender. Damian's eyes narrowed as he recognized the voice. It was Carlos, the rival gang leader. Carlos stepped forward, his eyes locking onto Damian's. Give up now, he taunted. Or do you want your precious Ava to get hurt? Rage flared in Damian's eyes. He lunged at Carlos with renewed vigor, determined to protect me and prove him wrong. Their fists collided in a brutal exchange, each blow fueled by anger and desperation. Miguel and Javier continued to fend off the other intruders, but it was clear that both sides were suffering injuries. Blood stained the concrete floor, and the air was filled with pained cries. Carlos laughed as he dodged one of Damian's punches. Is this all you've got? He sneered. I expected more from you. Damian's response was a fierce uppercut that sent Carlos staggering backward. I couldn't stand by any longer. I grabbed a metal pipe from a nearby crate and ran towards them. Damian. I shouted, swinging the pipe at an intruder who was about to attack him from behind. The man crumpled to the ground, giving Damian a momentary advantage. He glanced at me briefly, his eyes filled with gratitude before turning back to Carlos. The battle raged on around us. Miguel had taken down two more intruders, but was nursing a bleeding arm. Javier was locked in a fierce struggle with another man, both of them grappling for control. Carlos regained his footing and charged at Damian again. This time, Damian was ready. He sidestepped Carlos' attack and delivered a powerful kick to his side. Carlos fell to his knees, gasping for breath. Damian stood over him, his chest heaving with exertion. This is my territory, he growled, and I will protect it. Carlos looked up at him with defiance in his eyes, but said nothing. Suddenly, another wave of intruders burst through the broken windows, adding to the chaos. Miguel cursed under his breath as he prepared to defend himself once more.